the cute abiola is missing guys hmm. a lot is happening in the engineering entertainment industry nowadays so because instagram skit makers it's now their turn to receive receive everything that's goes few days after we you know he came for talma for visiting the vice president that's not even the gist let me not even go there cute abiola instagram skit maker producer actor naval officer is missing people don't know what has happened to him we don't even know where he is that's now the that's the funniest thing we don't know where he is report says that his wife is traumatized and she's been as in she feels like she's in torture currently his close associates are deeply worried about him let me tell you the full details of everything that we know so far concerning what has happened to q tabula so keep watching this video if that interests you like i said he's a naval officer when he posted he posted two days ago but three days ago before that his last post was about wrapping up on set of jennifer's diary and on that set he, he took on the role of a of an armed officer you know uniformed officer in 2020 recall that in may of 2020 Q Tabiola was taken by the nigerian navy because he wore his full regalia to post on his birthday last year and they took him for days he was brutalized you know deeply beaten when we saw him people are now saying that was why they took him because what happened is q tabiola went to the office he's a naval officer he went to the office around 6 a.m on the 15th of november 2021 and when he around 6 a.m he called his wife to say um babe i don't reach work and she was like okay cool but since that time q tabula did not return home so when we were trying to call him to say ah q tabula i don't go come home you don't go come home you don't go come home they couldn't reach him so the wife called other people i'm like hey, please let, let us go to his office together to go check up on my husband when they got there um his colleague said ah, we did not see Q Tabiola. We don't know what has happened to him. And you're like, he was in this office. Are you saying you did not see him coming to work today? Or are you saying he closed from work and you've not heard from him since then? These guys do not have anything to say concerning that. And everybody's like, what has happened to Q Tabiola? Now, somebody in that office now told them that. Don't mention my name. Don't say I told you. But this man has been detained in the cell. Now oh, they now say it said he's been in the cell and the nigerian navy cell since they got to office yesterday morning meaning that when he even caught him at work they just took him immediately and he did not even work yes um on the 15th of november he didn't work at all and they now said when they now said okay what happened what did he do nobody knows his offense they are not saying anything they are just saying that it was order from above that the nigerian navy headquarters sent others from above to say they should arrest and detain Q Tabiola, whose real name is Abdul, um, Abdul Ghaffar Ahmad Toyin, Oluwa Toyin. Nobody knows what is happening to him now in the, middle, in the, in the cell that they've detained him in. So, um, it is even said, I mean, furthermore, to even make this whole thing worse, his wife has revealed that he's an ulcer patient. I know how this thing is. He needs to be fed. But since they've taken him, they've not fed cute abiola he's not eating anything and somebody that needs to constantly you know have something in his belly or maybe even okay now if you're not going to eat and beginning to feel um the ulcer pain you're supposed to have drugs to use he has no access to the drugs he has no access to food what is going to happen to him and that's what is making them cry out to say guys we don't want anything to happen to his health while in that cell because if anything would happen to him, it might even deteriorate his current health condition and it would come out of there. That's when they release him, come out of there, you know, even worse than it got into the cell. So they made an appeal to the president. I'm like, I'm yeah, making an appeal to our president, okay? making an appeal to the Senate, you know. But of all the comedians, the one person that I've actually spoken up is Mr. Macaroni Debo Adebayo, who's actually very well known for speaking up and being vocal about things like this when it comes to injustice with Nigerians. Um, he said that the Nigerian Navy, the only thing they can do is if they have information to help cute Abiola's family and friends confirm his whereabouts or if he's in their custody, the honorable thing to do would be to clarify details surrounding his detention and put everyone's mind at rest. Haba, and I totally agree with that. There should be a joint statement that is released from the Nigerian Navy, the headquarters, I mean, with his own office branch in Lagos, Nigeria, to see this is what is happening. Funny enough, cute Abiola did not even started in lagos nigeria i said i didn't quarrel state because that was where he you know grew up that was where his family his parents raised himself and his siblings that was where he had his primary school education that was where he had his secondary school education i don't really know about his higher institution but then that he joined the nigerian navy shortly after secondary school education you know 
And so that in secondary school that I realized he had a passion for comedy and he's been pursuing comedy alongside his, you know, his uniformed job. Now, Q Tabiola posted recently to say that um, a certain senior officer in the Nigerian Navy had told him earlier that he needed to pick one hustle. Do you want to be for the Navy or do you want to be for comedy? Pick one and it's like, can't I run both together? But now maybe that has come to haunt him and they're like, okay, we need to decide inside this cell to tell us which one you want to pick. But um, being, Nigerian, being in the Nigerian Navy, is that against the code of conduct that you can't do anything that has to do with entertainment or are they just not okay with the fact that he's making money from entertainment something that even his you know senior colleagues might not be making <laughs> i'm not, i'm just saying and it's not it's not a funny situation because nigerians have reached alarm a lot of people are beginning to talk to see what is happening to cute abiola we need to know what's up with cute abiola we need to know what's up with cute abiola what person is maybe because of jennifer's diary situation but in my opinion i think if it's because of jennifer's diary um no more if you want to make a movie you know, a film, and you need to wear uniforms, the armed forces uniform, whatever armed force, you should take permission, you're supposed to obtain permission from the respective quarters to use it. So if killed Abiola, who is also referred to as lawyer, Kunle, if he has had any, if if he has to use it on movie on the movie set, that is just his character on the set. That does not mean it's disrespecting the armed forces, especially tonight. Or maybe they are angry that a word uniform of another armed force. Is that what the problem is going to be now? Honestly, this is just speculations. We just need them to say this is what is happening to cute Abiola. Is in our custody true true? Or because these are the thing that they even took him because from other from above. What if that person that told his family this did not really mean it? I was just saying something so their mind will be at rest. What if we do not indeed know where he is? What if he is not in any holding cell? What if cute Abiola's whereabouts is indeed not known by anybody? Guys, that was that is going to be worse. Because let us confirm if indeed he left work. We know he got to work. Let us know if he left work and maybe something happened on his way back from work. Let us know if he never left the premises of his workstation so that we would know that, okay, this is where he is and what will be done is now to find a way to issue his release if he did if he left work and you know it's not gonna let us find okay where is he now let us raise a call to say guys you're looking for cute abiola whose your name is you know like i said abdul gafar ahmad olua Tui. this guy got limelight in 2015 if you do not know who he is he's referred to as lawyer Kunle. you can name as cute abiola he acts alongside other you know several comedians and so lively um, um nasty black he has his own production line is a producer now he's an actor he has a youtube channel he makes money not just from instagram skits from ambassadorship deals from influencing deals you know for putting his people his skits on other platforms and it wasn't in 2015 that it wasn't on 2016 he became known that was when he showed his support for the uh for the contestant of big brother niger one of the housemates bisola ayola the season three was that 2015 now maybe after 2015 then three of big brother niger that was when nigerians actually totally totally accepted him like okay yes you guys you have aid right and he also supported lecon the winner of um two big brother nigers now i mean god a lot of big brother nigers have happened two brother nigers <laughs> the lockdown edition he supported in season five he supported the that big brother niger Oh, that should be season two of Big Brother Niger or Bisola Yola season two. I don't even know, guys. You know what I'm talking about. You know who Bisola Yola is. is the season that if you won, yes, when he supported Bisola, who was uh, the first runner up, that was when he became popularly popularly known. He's estimated to be around 120,000 US dollars, making him one of the richest and one of the most influential comedian in nigeria guys let me know what you think concerning missing cute abiola i'll be in the comment section waiting for you if you enjoyed this video give it a thumbs up to show that you like it share one two or three people if i know the whereabouts of cute abiola just share this video we want you to subscribe so that way we know something about cute abiola one of the very first people to know about that and that is by you clicking on the bell button beside the subscription button that would let you know when there is new updates from this end. Guys, I'll see you in the next video Do Take care of yourself and say a word of prayer or two for the safety of cute Abiola and that his family members should be addressed. Bye, guys.